Pisces, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and here is your December 2020 tarot reading. I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me. Now the cards that I'm using for this month's readings is Spirit of the Animals, Oracle Deck. Absolutely stunning cards. And the tarot deck that I'm using is the Smithwaite Tarot. Okay, I am also giving away free personal readings again this month, so I'll tell you more about that later on in the video. Now, as always, I've pulled a card for the overall energy, and the card that we have is the elephant, and the other word that we have there is greatness. Now, the words on the card are love is your strength, leadership is your path, your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. So I do feel that this month is about you taking charge of a situation. Are you being distracted lately? Or are you being forgetful? Do you need to develop a thicker skin? And if you're looking for the truth, you don't need to look any further because the truth is right under your nose. In whatever situation you are in right now, the truth is there. Now, the elephants are the mightiest of land animals. I actually used to collect them as a child. as They were my favourite and they still are. There is something about the way that they care for each other um, and how graceful they are, even though they are, my, are almighty in size. It's almost as though they're very protective as well. They've got such beautiful qualities. But nothing bothers an elephant. They have this thick skin. They can take anything. Unless, of course, you try to hurt one of their own. And then they are great protectors. So this is your month to take charge. This is your month to make it happen. Now you are very generous naturally, unless someone provokes you and then you can get angry and the anger will kick in. You will be very protective of family members this month and those that you love. Now this month is about setting intentions as well. The power of intentions is immense. Um, it's something that we live by at the spiritual centre, setting the right intention for the greater good always. Now, this is intentions that you should be setting for yourself this month. May all of your family and friends be loyal to you. May you become the leader that you were born to be. Now, taking charge is a natural strength that you possess. Others admire it. And this is, you do inspire everyone around you, but you're going to inspire people more so as you go into the new year. So this is, month is about taking charge. Your key words, greatness, royalty, leadership, power, memory, and family. How beautiful is that Pisces? That's a beautiful reading on its own without the tarot cards. Let's hope that the tarot complement what we've just had from the elephant. Love is your strength, leadership is your path. Okay. And we have the seven of I always see the seven of pentacles as an all or nothing card. Two sevens, the seven of cups, the nine of cups, the wheel of fortune. And on the bottom of the deck, we have another major arcana, the star card. How amazing is that, Pisces? Look at the cards. Just look at the cards for a moment. There is no negativity in these cards. This is all positive going forward. So here you are in a situation 
of all or nothing. Contemplating where you want to go and what you want to do. So you're going to go into this month with a bit of uncertainty, I think is a good word. Um, I do feel that the truth will be revealed very early on. Look around the 3rd or 4th of December as an important date for finding out certain information as well. Now, I always see the Seven of Cups as a wish board, wishful thinking, illusion or delusion. Um, we all daydream. We all think about things that we'd love to have. These are all the things that we'd love to be doing, love to have. Can we make it a reality? Can we make those dreams into a reality? That is totally down to you. So we're going to go into the second half of the month. It's almost this strength, this character that's going to come charging through. Full of self-love. The Nine of Cups is about self-love. Some people see it as a selfish card. I don't because if you don't love yourself, then how can anybody else love you? You've done the right thing. I almost feel that that's what needs to be said. You will have done the right thing because the Wheel of Fortune is about to change. Good luck, bad luck. Who knows? Who knows what's coming? I always like to think it's a wheel of fortune and it'll be good fortune. It's going to change, but not until the end of the month, um, towards the end of December. Now, overriding this, we have the star. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. So, you have one big, huge star above her head. She's not looking at it. She's got one foot in water, one on land. She doesn't know what she wants. She wants this, 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 this. She wants this, 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 this. Unless she actually makes up her mind and says, I want that. I want that one. That's where I'm going. That's what I want. And this is about what we said before about setting your intentions. This month is about setting those intentions. May all your family and friends be loyal to you. May you become the leader you were born to be. But also set yourself a personal intention of where you want to be this time next month. In a month's time, what do you want to be doing? Where do you want to be? Because when you set that intention, you let the universe know that that's exactly what you want. Well, Pisces. You've got a beautiful card. It's now down to you to take charge and make it happen. Bless you for watching. As promised, the free personal readings. Just drop your date of birth and yes, please, in the comments. Full date of birth. And I will read for those that I feel drawn to by giving you your experience card for 2021. Now, 2021 is the year of the Hierophant. Um, but you also have a card that is unique to you as well. So if you let me know your date of birth, I can work that out for you. I will feel I will read for those that I feel drawn to only. OK, you can also get a free personal reading over at my website, thespiritualcenter.net. Subscribe to the newsletter and we give away a free reading every month. Bless you for watching, Pisces. Take control. Be that leader that you were born to be. Have a lovely December.